Here we go. Hit the like button. How old are you, Taylor? 29. 29. What do you do for a living? I'm a front desk agent at a hotel. Front desk agent at a hotel. You have any kids? Yes, I have two beautiful boys, one and three, by one man. Why are you not together? It's complicated, honestly. We took off your Bluetooth? Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Okay. So you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old by the same guy. You're not together? No. You don't know why? It's complicated. We just don't mesh at all. Like, I'm a very affectionate person, and he just did not show any affection at all. Give me one second. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it was going to connect again. Okay. But yeah, um, we're just um, not compatible at all, honestly. Not compatible at all. Okay. Yeah. So we got Taylor, Texas, 29, front desk, got a hotel. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. Aries. Mine yes. are two kids by the same man. Um, one and three. What kind of man are you looking for? Hell, a one-year-old and a three-year-old. She said we were not compatible. <laughs> the meats was compatible. <laughs> I'm so lost. Like, what is that? She got dots all on her forehead. Let her cook. One compatible. I got to hear this. Where she at? She at work. She calling from work. Let the, I'm here for this. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm looking for a man that's honest, um, a loving man. A man that's able to express himself, that's not afraid to love a woman, show a woman that he cares about her, like go on dates, hug me, kiss me in public, um, stuff like that. Like, I just want a man that's romantic because I'm a very emotional woman and I'm a very loving woman. So if you're not honest and you're not, you know, ready to actually love and go through the ups and downs and be there mentally and emotionally, then yeah, I don't okay. want you. <laughs> What are your deal breakers? Um, someone that's not passionate, um, a liar, and what else? That's really it. Sorry, Kendra, I'm nervous. <laughs> I watch your show all the time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, at this point, I honestly don't even care. As long as you're attractive to me. I don't care. You could be white, Asian, black. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. That's telling me you've been here before. Have you? No, this is my first time. It's her first time. Cousin, she's yes. first time. Okay. You say you're open to our races. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Mm, uh, I guess 75K. I don't know, Kendra. Honestly, it's not really about the money to me because I'm going to work every day and provide for my kids. So the money isn't really a big deal for me. The more, okay. the more, look, sorry. <laughs> the most important thing to me is the love and the respect, honestly. Okay. Um, and okay, let's do the Kendra cam. All right. Give me one second. Okay, look, you're in good shape. Listen. Here to the now. To the now, now, now. Here to the now. This woman got a one year old baby at home crying, waiting for mama to come home and give him some of that nip. So 75K <laughs> with a one and a three year old. Give me a break. One and three is tough. That's tough. And she says something here. Uh, that triggered me she said y'all women gotta stop this like i said earlier y'all too strong for your own good she said uh, 75k but kinder really don't matter because money ain't a thing because i'm gonna work every day that's a stupid statement if you have to work a nine to five every day money is an issue that's not a flex especially for a woman it's, it's a bit of a flex for a man. Like, I work every day to provide for my family. Respect in your sacrifice, brother. But as real men, we acknowledge women shouldn't be taking on that heavy of a load. Working every day? That ain't healthy to you. You got to, like Gavin said, you got a one-year-old that, that's at home need mommy milk. <laughs> and you at work. <laughs> that's how she met him. Money in the big deal with two arm babies in tow. Pure cat.
Man, she had all that to say about her baby daddy. But one thing we know. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Indeed. <laughs> okay. I feel you, mama. I'm so... so we... I can't believe you picked me. But go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, all right, so we got Taylor, Texas, 29, Aries. Um, do you want more kids? Uh, yes, but it has to be a serious commitment before I do that. Okay, serious commitment before you do that. All right, Taylor, um, when was your last relationship? <clears throat> okay, Kendra, don't get mad, okay? So, me and my kid's father, it's complicated. We still live together, but we're not together. So, that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I gotta start calling my ladies out. I got to start calling my ladies out. Let me tell you why. And I say this with love. I say this with love to my sisters. And I hope you receive this with love. But I get a lot of women who say things that there's piss in the dating pool, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to move forward. I already know that some men would probably have a challenge with you having two young kids, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to move forward. Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, we're not together. Like, A quality man is not choosing a woman <laughs> that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. Holy hell. <laughs> They're not sleeping together, Mr. Walker. It's just for the kids. <laughs> she don't see why a guy would have a problem with that. Appreciate you, Kendra. Kendra said, a real man, however she worded, responsible, respectable, uh, a desirable man, you don't think he would have a problem pursuing a woman? Not only that has a one and a three-year-old, but she's still living with the ninja that injected the one and three year old into her. It's cool. She's like, it's cool, you know. You know, most days we sleep in separate beds. He sleep on the couch, but on the weekends I left sleep in the bed with me. But it ain't. We ain't together though. <laughs> Y'all crazy as hell. <laughs> this is wow. Where my girl HQ? This is wild. <laughs> he. No way, man. Fellas, in this instance, this is where I always say, paint the worst picture to be the safest. This ain't some little, you know, nug nug you could grab by the scruff of his collar. No, this is some big six foot seven knock knee G Honda ninja in that house. N make it hurt. All right. And he and he big and annoying, and his knock knees get all sore and he get honorary, and you don't know what he's gonna end up doing. Don't do it. You're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, we're not together. Like, A quality man is not <laughs> choosing a woman that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. That's not what a quality okay. man is going to choose. Now, a man might just want to have sex with you who don't really have no future plans with you, he probably take you out because he don't want nothing. A man who in a relationship already and knows that he can mess with you on the low because you already live with your baby daddy, so it's an equal opportunity situation. But this is not what a man who was trying to set up a life with a woman would choose. And I feel like as much as I love my ladies, there got to be some housekeeping, right? Ooh. And there's nothing wrong with you at least get your own place before That's you start looking for a new man. That's what I'm working on, Kendra. I'm working on Well, that. work on that and then work then on digging. You, then call you back because I'm going to come I back mean, on your show. I mean, you're here now. I'm just, I just want to keep it real with you. Like, Of course. I respect it. I love you, Kendra. I respect it. Yeah, I love you back. And it well, I'll say this. Is it the mere fact that she has a one-year-old and a three-year-old, Kendra? Maybe... Don't give this much pushback if you ain't going to up your standards. She got a one-year-old child. So, 
I mean, come on now. Right then alone, you should have been given pushback. Like, why are you here? Ain't no way you on this show with a child under the age of 14. Nope. The Kendra draws the line at any ninja that's getting over. And he's still living with her. That's that's egregious. Kendra's like, I don't like that. One year old hunching all wild sent for seven. I'll allow it. But a ninja living off you? Mm, no, you doing something wrong now, Bonquisha. And it, granted, she doing a lot of things wrong. Call it all that. And this, I said this to, I want to say, Tyranny this weekend. We was watching the woman with the seven kids and seven baby daddies. And everybody's playing and joking. Oh, no big deal. Then she got in the store and they was dancing and twerking. And at that moment, then things went too far. It's like same thing here. Like, oh, I got a one-year-old, three-year-old plan. But soon she lived with her baby daddy. Now we've gone too far. <laughs> Shout out to Tierney and her marriage. <laughs> so y'all got to quit playing and joking, ladies. Set the standard. Quit. You know stuff be foobar from the jump. And y'all waiting to, you know, hear them say something ridiculous. Like I live with my baby daddy. And you say, oh, man, now this is too much. I love it. <laughs> It's hard, but I can, like this, that's crazy. And honestly, why can't y'all just work it out? Y'all have a one year old, three year old, y'all live together. Like, what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. Uh, I just feel like we grew up differently. So I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with. So honestly, like, I just don't see us working at all. They want me to continue. What are your um? We we were almost at the end. Well, when's the last time you was intimate intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Days ago. Uh, probably about three weeks ago. What's your child's Nasty. father? Mm -hmm. Nasty. You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this. No, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know like it's it's over. Like I gave him three years and. We're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how was it over? You slept with him three weeks ago when you lived with him. Y'all got two kids <laughs> together, a one and a three-year-old. Holy hell. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. I am inevitable. Three weeks ago, she said, Kendra, it's over. Look at her laughing. I know where my heart is at now. I know. Stop. What is that? That's, I know where my heart is. Where your cooter cat at? <laughs> I know where my heart is, but Nug Nug still got the meats. This is wicked. Like, how is that? How does that mean nothing? Like, how does... I just don't get it. I'm, I don't know. I'm too old school. I don't see how just hunching means nothing. It's just, ah, eh, eh, just pass the time. Come on, skeet him. <laughs> Man. She want him to see this. Y'all saying, okay, how he going to get jealous? He just going to continue. Ain't Kate, no man be jealous of no woman. He clashing her cheeks. It's impossible. He knows her situation. Like, you got these two kids in this house. You work at the hotel. You ain't, you need me. I know what, I know how broke you is. Now, how is Kendra, it, what, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra. Over? What Kendra. part of that? Y'all have a one-year-old, three-year-old. Y'all live together. Like, what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. Uh, I just feel like we grew up differently. So I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with. So honestly, like, I just don't see us working at all. They want me to continue. What are your, um? we, we were almost at the end. Well, when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, probably about three weeks ago. With your child's father. Mm-hmm. You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this. No, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know like it's it's over. Like I gave him three years, and we're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how was it over? You slept with him three weeks ago when you lived with him. Y'all got two kids <laughs> together, a one and a three-year-old. Child, how is Kendra. it? What, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra. over? Kendra. 
what part of that just, is just because you're intimate with somebody doesn't mean that you're meant to be or there's compatibility there like we live together of course you know you might have your yeah up. but you have to realize that oh is this camera on me yes it's on. that's stupid use your common sense kendra just because i let him clash my meats don't mean nothing I can sleep with that man. We live in the same house. That don't mean nothing. What's sacred today? I'm so serious, man. What is sacred? Like that's that's why that's why I always come up with the worst situations with nug nug because it is kind of behavior. That's why I always go to the darkest realms of Bonquisha's nightmares because of this kind of behavior. It's better our brothers. Be terrified of these undesirable outcomes and not get into them, then get into them and deal with these barbed wire black pills. I will not be a part of it. Nope. This ninja six foot 12, a 12 acre baby maker, leave it alone. Ain't no win here. Just, just and they say, it. what about him? He put two babies in her and didn't marry her. What about him? Why? by the cow when the milk is free why take on extra debt and burden when you're getting what you want in the first place you gotta hold him accountable he made a broken family mm -hmm. tell him that go ahead <laughs> who complaining that's why we say whoever is gonna be most responsible and who have the most burden should take the most accountability who up on screen complaining not Nug Nug, Bonquisha should take most accountability for her life. And that's why we say, don't sleep with him. You made the first move, you let him sleep with you. You up here two kids later talking about we ain't compatible, he's narcissist, all this stuff. We live together, you gonna slip up. Slip up? Slip up, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Man. And let's play devil's advocate and say this man is dusty and broke and narcissist and all these terrible things. Now, what is she? A saint, but an <laughs> angel. <laughs> Holy hell. Here we go. Weeks ago. What's the child's father? Mm -hmm. Y'all have, have a one-year-old, three-year-old. Y'all live together. Like what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. Uh, I just feel like we grew up differently. So I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with. So honestly, like, I just don't see this working at all. They want me to continue. What are your, um, we, we were almost at the end. Well, when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, probably about three weeks ago. With your child's father? Mm-hmm. You honestly <laughs> didn't think anything was wrong with this? No, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know, like, it's, it's over. Like, I gave him three years, and we're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how was it over? You slept with him three weeks ago when you lived with him. Yeah, I got two kids <laughs> together, a one and a three-year-old. So how is Kendra, it? What, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra, over? What part Kendra, of that just, equals over? Just because you're intimate with somebody doesn't mean that you're meant to be or there's compatibility there. Like, we live together, of course. You know, you might have your Yeah, up. but you have to realize y'all not just intimate, which is one part, okay? That is a part, but... Let's just say, okay, one thing is y'all slept together three weeks ago. That's one thing. Another thing is I have two young kids. You have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. That's a whole nother equation. Then y'all live together. That's equation number three. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Kendra, it's a long story, honestly. <laughs> um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I would say communication. Mm. Answer the phone. Communication. Three flaws. Mm, I don't know, Kendra. What? What? <laughs> what? You can't name three flaws. I'm sorry, Kendra. I'm sorry. He look. Let me help you out. You live with your huh? baby daddy still. You slept with your baby daddy three weeks ago. Y'all got a one and a three year old together. You ain't giving us. You want me to keep going? <laughs> 
I mean, I'm just looking for love. Like, that's it. Well, that's the problem. So, you, you, here's the deal. Looking for love. Love is in the mirror, okay? You don't oh, have I to love find myself. love. We're born love with myself. love, right? So you don't have to look far for love. But the way you love yourself is the way somebody else is going to love you. And, you know, I always tell people, you're going to see, I don't know if you're, this is, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm saying things that's enlightening to you. It's things that I would think you would know. But the cousins are definitely going to tell you this. Like, I don't understand how y'all need to get some new girlfriends because your girlfriend should have told you this. Your girlfriend should have said, at least get your own place. Because how does the guy pick you up? You live with your baby daddy that you slept with three weeks ago. So how does the new man even take you out on a date? Look at her. He better, what? Come pick me up. You scared? Are you scared, ninja? This the kind of woman that will have you come pick her up. You will get deleted. Her baby daddy is going to prison for life. And she's going to tell that story with a smile for the rest of her life. It's an accolade. Bonquisha's like this. That's the highest trophy. I, a ninja got deleted over matters of my rancid kudakata. This kudakata then took a whole grown man's life. How powerful. Huh. Wicked work. Imagine that. Some well-to-do guy, Mr. 75K, supposed to pull up, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> in his Chevy Impala <laughs> and pick her up right in front of her baby daddy. Like that's going to go over smooth. Huh? Either he ain't going to be physically imposing and the baby daddy going to come out there on that bullish, ready to crash out, or he's going to be big and nug nug lab the you upper pole. You sound scared. You sound scared. You insecure. Y'all ninjas is scared. That's why I can't be with no scary ninja. If you scared, say so. Nope. Ain't got nothing to do with fear. None of that. Got to do with using your common sense. Risk and reward is the reward worth the risk then we could talk athletes go out there on courts and fields every day risking life and limb for riches fame and fortune granted i run into a ninja fast as heck and bust my head for a billion dollars too i get it bonquisha are you worth get my head knocked off for a chance at some meaningless physical intimacy with you I think not. <laughs> and I say that to the man. Don't um be all goofy. Some of y'all got that bravado that gets you nowhere. Almost like somebody called you a punk. I ain't no punk. And then you do whatever they said you was a punk to do. It's it's reverse psychology when she say, don't be scared. And she start throwing that sign language. And you're going to sit back. I ain't scared. I'll pull up right now. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> Click. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. That's enlightening to you. It's things that I would think you would know, but the cousins are definitely gonna tell you this. Like, I don't understand how y'all need to get some new girlfriends. Because your girlfriend should have told you this. Your girlfriend should have said, at least get your own place. Because how does the guy pick you up? You live with your baby daddy that you slept with three weeks ago. So how does a new man even take you out on a date? You got a point. How does a new man bring you to, because y'all also got to know this too, respectable men, they got a, they got a list of people y'all got to pass the test with, right? Okay, she went and that's fine. Okay, this is another eye opener. If you, most respectable men, not all, but most, they have a group of people you got to pass the test with. It might be their grandmama, their mama, their auntie, or their sister, okay? They're going to have to approve of you. So just know, as you're trying to win his heart and y'all going, these women that he respects in his life are also going to have to co-sign you to a certain degree. Yeah! Boom, shakalaka! Half truths, Kendra. Take the women out of it. It's the men. We talk about this. Mr. Walker done hit on it. The Godfather done hit on it. You want this resourceful six-figure man that's taking over the world? He has a group of men, or a, it could be a small group, large group. They are the ones who are, it ain't about his mama, grandmama, and them. They don't care. It's the group, the guys he does business with, and 
you know, he networked with. They're going to say, dude, she got three kids by three men. What are you doing? <laughs> These are matters of responsible, resourceful men. And why is this a test that Bonquisius can't pass? Because resourceful men amongst one another, we cannot allow liabilities into this circle of no sex or race. It don't matter. No liabilities. Now, because we understand that personal lives tend to bleed into business lives. So now, Frank, Frank, you ain't showing up on time. Your work is slacking. You ain't being productive because Bonquisha running you through the ringer, serving you a black pills with the pool boy. Get tighten up, Frank. Seriously. And there you go. But Bonquisha got to worry about that because Nug Nug don't have this group of friends. There are no brothers keepers with Nug Nug in his circle. It's every weak little hyena man for himself. So she ain't worried about that. That's why Kendra's pushback was Swahili to her. And if they don't co-sign you, it's going to be hard for y'all to move forward to the next step. So I think what's happening is, you know, again, ladies, and I, in honor of sisterhood, I do understand there's a lot of men full of shit, okay? And y'all trying to find this Prince Charming. But I think, women, you got to start accepting the fact that some of y'all full of shit, too. And some of y'all got to start getting your shit together. Like, what? She went away, but we had a whole bunch of questions. Um, someone, Pookie said she should have a bow tie on with the shirt button all the way up to the top. Unfashionable swine. I don't know what that means. LII said it wasn't trauma in the bedroom. Lee Turner said, hang up, Kendra. She's wasting our time. Kareem says she's here to piss her baby daddy off. Fix your home, sis. Coffee Killer said, are you here trying to make your baby daddy move to be in a relationship through jealousy? Someone said she, she seriously threw it all off, living with her baby daddy, child. Ma'am, if you don't get the... And then Lord of Leon says she's a bigger character than the last guy. I mean, this woman on the screen, she got two small kids, one and three she still lived with her baby daddy, and she up here looking for God knows what. Huh, a God fair man making 75K. Still living with your baby daddy is number one. There we go. We're going to put some weight on it. Still living with your baby daddy and hunching him is number one most egregious act by a single mom and, and on the dating market. And I don't know. Is he that or currently pregnant? I can't. I can't. I can't do this. Currently pregnant, living with your baby daddy getting hunched. There it is. Just compound it. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to take her to the pit. Naturally. <laughs> huh. right. What the fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. And here's my question. Are these women the real narcissists for truly coming up on this show week after week, night after night? Uh, they all watch it. They say, Kendra, they come up and say, I watch you all the time. I've been watching you for years. They'll say it. And then come up on the show and air out all their madness. And it, they're that desperate for attention. Desperate and or got nothing else better to do with their time. Nothing else better to do. Nothing. They're like, I'm going to go up on Kendra and act a fool. I'm going to air my grievances. I'm going to, you know, project my insecurities out into the world onto this ninja I gave my most precious commodity. Yeah, I get it. And I've been said that, and I plant my flag on that hill. The real narcissist of these last couple years since we been using the word so daggone much is the women's. The women's, women's, women's is the narcissist. Why? Because they are extremely self-serving. 
extremely. They don't care nothing about the man. It's what can he do for them? Get on a page. Men are just servants. It's unfortunate, sisters. And it's got to play out. You ladies are becoming the men you so desperately hate. You're becoming mistress. 